Hey guys, good afternoon everyone. This is Shanawaz Ahmed and uh, today I'm again here with a new video on SOLIDWORKS Motion and today I'll discuss with you about the gravity and uh, now in this video what we have done we have just simply created a slide and we have kept a ball on it so that we just can see that how the ball uh, will fall freely on the slide and how it will uh, do the mechanism. Now uh, we are only having the gravity here we are not having any external forces or any velocities or something like that which will affect the ball or which will affect the slide so i just wanted to see uh, that uh, how the ball falls in gravity so i just wanted to show you this so uh, now for this what we need we need first of all a slide which is shown here which is made with the help of sweep command and uh, we are having a simple ball over here so for creating the slide what you have to do you have to basically form a helix structure which can be formed with the help of a circle and you have to give the pitch size you have to give the uh, diameter of the you can say the circle and the height and everything number of revolutions and all so helix will be formed and then you have to attach a single curve a straight line and then you have to make this a composite curve as you can see i have made here in the model mode i'll show you this scene this is my helix structure then I have made this composite curve which is full like this and when I will double click on this you will be able to see that how this see this is my composite structure this is my helix and this is my this so when I will just go and make it composite curve so it will just uh, form this complete you can say the slide now for ball you just simply have to revolve a semicircle a solid revolve now everything is just being set up now we have to come under the motion study mode now in this what you have to do you have to first of all make this slide fixed okay and then you have to bring this ball and keep it on the top here now you just simply drag manually the ball and just keep it over here it will be good if you are not able to put like this then what you have to do you have to put the mates you can take the help of mates but when you are going to start the calculation then you have to suppress all the mates why because even if you are having this tangent mate no then also it will not work effectively and efficiently as you want so for that purpose we have to suppress all the mates so i have just put it manually that's why it's not showing any sort of mates here now uh, what you have to do you have only to put the gravity so for gravity you can see i have the put the gravity here uh, for putting the gravity you can see the gravity direction also it's downwards for putting the gravity what you have to do you just have to simply click on here and you can just put the gravity in the downward y direction you can see in which coordinates you are working or something so it will be very good for you now this the gravity has been done now other thing is the solid body contact because this is the default thing which you have to do in each and everything so the solid body contact also you can just bring the solid body contact from here just click on this you will have all these things you just have to select the full complete assembly so it will select the assembly and it will give the contact with each and every part of the assembly so that also i have done so only two things you can see and there are no other forces or anything now after this what you have to do you can just simply go and check the number of frames per second in the motion study properties mode and i put the number of frames per second as as a 300 so uh, you can change the number of frames uh, according to your wish according to your need after that the final thing which you have to do is do the calculation so calculation takes a few minutes so for saving the time i've just already calculated it and after calculation what you can see i just wanted to see that how the ball works so what i will do i'll just simply go and play it from the start so here we go and this is the playback speed this you can keep it as whatever you want now if i'm displaying this you can see that the how ball is moving here see how effectively it is moving according to your need and it will just see it will fall like this and it will go the ball is going down so in this way you can use this one now other thing what all you can do is uh, you can even add something extra over here after the end of this uh, you can say the slide you can add something extra also you can instead of adding one ball you can add some more balls also you can add a few more uh, distractions or you can say few more uh, uh, constraints here in this uh, slide so that the ball uh, falls according to your constraints so many number of things you can do in solidworks motion so guys this is a very good uh, form of you can say use of solidworks motion now friends uh, thank you very much for watching this video 
and if you are having any doubt in SOLIDWORKS Motion or CATIA or SOLIDWORKS or anything like this, uh, solid modeling softwares, you can just simply write a mail to me, ask your doubts, I'll uh, prepare a video for you and just uh, if you like this video guys please subscribe <coughs> to my channel so that i can uh, update you with some new videos and uh, so that you will be updated with the latest softwares and everything thank you guys